Hey, what's up guys? My name is Tyler and it is currently 11.42 p.m. And while this may not be my latest time ever doing one of these kinds of movie review videos, it's certainly one of the hardest. I think I paused too long. Yeah, that, that was a long dramatic pause. Okay, why is this going to be the hardest? Well, this is going to be the first time where I compare two movies. I, with Tori today, saw Child's Play and Toy Story 4. A lot of toys. Unfortunately, only one of them was voiced by Mark Ruffalo. I meant to say Hamill. So, I don't really know how to do this, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to try to make this kind of clickbaity. Clickbaity? I said that weird. I'm going to try to make you guys watch this video by titling it something like Chucky vs. Toy Story. I... Have I mentioned how, how tired I am? Super tired. So yeah, Child's Play Remake, uh, Child's Play 2019 versus Toy Story 4. And yes, legitimately, one of the only reasons I'm doing this mashup is because all of those posters, they kept getting me hyped for like, and, and the fact that like they both came out on the same day, both the kids' names are Andy, well, you know what I mean. Toy Story, you OG Toy Story fans, you know the name Andy. He's not in this movie. It's Bonnie. Uh, that's probably the biggest spoiler I'll give you during this spoiler-free movie review because I don't like to spoil things for you because I don't like when things are spoiled for me. But yes, both came out the same day. Both are about dolls that come to life. And both are about kids named Andy. Yeah. I'm trying to think of any other similarities. I don't know how to do this video, I really don't, but I really like the idea. Like, so, we started off the day watching Child's Play, you know, just get your, I'm not, I wasn't like hyped for this movie like I am for It Chapter 2 or I was for Halloween, but this, okay, so out of all the horror movies, like those kind of slashers, Chucky is I think the most fun, you know? Mark Hamill even added that extra level of fun. Uh, it's probably a better word I could use for to describe a killer doll. But yeah, no, he's a blast. He's a he's a blast and a half. So the movie, to compare it to the first Child's Play, uh, it was pretty obviously self-aware at this point. At one point in naming the doll, the doll was just like, Chucky, let name me Chucky. And I was like, cool. Damn it, that's another spoiler. Sorry. But who cares? The doll's named Chucky. So, there. You know something new. Just kidding, it's not new. Everybody knows the, the doll. Would you, could you imagine if they didn't name the doll Chucky? And they try to pull like a... I don't know. I'm trying to think. Right, what are those sci-fi movies that always like take something that we know and then make it like not... I don't know, I'm sure there's examples, but seriously, what's an example? There's like Deep Blue Sea and Jaws, there's those kinds of things. Like, you know what I'm talking about? Although both of those great movies, Deep Blue Sea was actually pretty good, you guys should go watch it. It's probably not on Netflix. It's probably not. It probably would have popped up in my recommended for me. God, I need to focus. Okay, Child's Play and Toy Story 4. So yeah, uh, Child's Play, it was super fun. I had a really good time. Of course, is way more gory than the original. It got it so literally to, to compare the two, as I think I was saying earlier, uh, they wasted no time. Right off the bat, Chucky is a, he, he has the potential for evil. Basically, all of his actions, um, they pretty much everything he does is to make his friend Andy his. Yeah, I think, yeah, I'm gonna be your best friend. I'm gonna be your buddy. Oh, God. To make his buddy, Andy, happy. Um, yeah, so literally everything he did was to make Andy happy, make sure he's having fun, and of course, he's a doll. He doesn't have, like, a brain or a soul like he did in the original movie. And this, he's just a doll. Like, I really liked it, that they grounded it. Of course, you know, a talking killer doll named Chucky could only be so grounded. And that brings us to Toy Story 4. Uh, that had many dolls in it, like a ton of talking 
almost, this is probably the worst movie review I've ever done. I'm gonna sit down. No, no, I need to make this. Okay. So, let me talk a little bit about Toy Story 4. Um, I, of course, obviously have watched all of the other three. Wow, I can't believe that. What, when did those movies start coming out? Like, 90, 91? Early 90s. And then they took a big hiatus, then they came back with three and they tried to rip our hearts out. Four did a much better job at ripping my heart out. Not really. I only cried once, and that wasn't even in the part you'd expect me to cry at. And then I started crying for the rest of it because the first time I cried, my eyes were burning. So then for the rest of the movie, I'm kind of watching it squinted. And then when Tori's not looking, I'm trying to like, oh, yeah, funny part, allergies. Um, but no, it was a really great movie. Great, really, just straight up, like probably super, the, I think the funniest like entry in the series. I don't know if entry was the right word, but it's the funniest toy story I've ever seen. Okay, so Child's Play and Toy Story are both funny. Good job, Tyler. You're doing great at this. You know, maybe it's just late and fun is the only word I can think of. That hurts the only thing I had during these movies. They were they were really fun. <laughs> they were entertaining. I was never at any point bored. Although Toy Story was a little bit more uh, wholesome, a little more captivating. There. That's a good word. Captivating. Now, one thing that I do have to give Toy Story over Child's Play is uh, the way it looked. So there's always an issue when you're trying to combine like CGI or animation with live action s environments or whatever. Uh, Toy Story was all animated, but God, it was beautifully animated. So the little forky dude was made of like pipe cleaners, or at least his arms were, and you could see it looked like a fucking pipe cleaner. It was awesome. And boy, there was one scene in Child's Play where I swear that he, he was, he, so the doll was pretty much like doing faces and it looked bad. It, <clears throat> it didn't fit. It's like we got Sonic in this world and it, Sonic actually, I think he looked better than Chuck. I mean, I got used to the way Chucky looked, but they were, at any time it was close up, it was like, oh, it looked like claymation mixed with like plastic modeling mixed with complete cgi and then boom that doll kills you yeah so in every single part where they were freaked out and screaming because they looked at it and it was creeping them out yes yes that's because really, the bright the closer i get the brighter that light is that's because it's creepy it was super creepy you imagine having that face like that close to you is this creepy I can't tell because I'm not looking. When I'm editing this, it'll probably creep me out. But yeah, from taking a step back, literally, sorry if that was too close for you guys, it is very difficult to compare a horror slasher, you know, thrill ride of a movie like Child's Play versus a nostalgic, oh, they're both kind of riding on nostalgia at this point. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of apples and oranges. Um, I basically, I can tell you which one I enjoyed more. I think I enjoyed Child's Play more. But... Mm, overall... Wow, this is hard. Tori! What? Which one did you like more, Chucky or Toy Story? Um, that one's not toys. Tell me about it. It's super tough. Okay. Thanks, babe. So, yeah. Uh, are you sure you like Toy Story more? I'm not answering that question. Okay, well, I have a job to do, so I have to answer that question. What? What? Child's Play was scarier, and Toy Story was funnier. They did their job. Okay, I think you helped me. So now, which movie did their job better? Uh, okay, so did I enjoy Toy Story more than Child's Play scared me? Hmm. I'm gonna have to give this a Child's Play. Let me explain briefly why. So, Child's Play revolves around one doll. 
though there were a few more elements to it than that. Don't want to give much away. And Toy Story, God, there's like 20 million freaking toys in this movie. And while all of them contributed in one way, I felt like I was watching maybe five. And they were like new, I don't, I don't know. I think I'm just gonna have to give it to Child's Play and the fact that they can bring a doll that everyone's already used to, kind of revamp it a little bit to get people excited about it. I mean, box office is gonna tell you Toy Story, but Tyler here is gonna say, I think Child's Play takes it just a little bit because I was not expecting to like it, whereas Toy Story, boy, I was excited. Let's end the night on Toy Story. I freaking love that movie. So yeah, I'm gonna choose Child's Play as the winner while also loving the fuck out of Toy Story 4. I know, right? This is weird. You try to get in front of a camera and comparing a horror movie to a rated G movie. It's very difficult. So yeah, for probably other reasons, you know, I always do these videos legitimately hours after seeing these movies. So, while, even by the time I'm editing, I may have gotten a different opinion, but right now, fresh out of the theater, Child's Play is the winner. Do I think it's the better movie? I don't know. <laughs> I will let you guys decide. Comment down below, which one do you, do you, what, what do you, what do you guys think of, it, it, it's probably unlikely that you already, within the first week, saw both movies like me. I got money to spend, bro. Just kidding, it was a $5 Tuesday day. Um, which one did you guys like more? Toy Story 4, Child's Play. What'd you like about Toy Story 4? What'd you like, did any of them disappoint you? Comment down below. And thank you so much for being on this very ADD, thrilled, fueled. I don't have ADD, but I probably do. I don't know, I've never been tested. <laughs> Making videos makes me nervous. I need a drink. Bye. I don't know why I did that. Peace. Jesus Christ. Good night, Andy.